Hey, what is up there guys? This is Cobb. Welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. It's gonna be a shorter one, this one, but I really want to tie off the current story with, uh, Bavati. So we're gonna take it to the bar to drown our sorrows just a little bit. After this goddamn Junlei cowbag went and mentioned this Isabel X. Uh, it's some bullshit, man. But let's ask about the Sam robot, um, that we discovered in one of the dormitories. Here's Welcome the back, about Captain. It, How can I be of assistance? Let me tell you, Ada, real quick. Um, know anything about the auto-mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you okay. check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I picked up this distress call. Can you play it back for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, okay. corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Yes, you do. Oh, we actually leveled off of that. Okay. So I'm not even sure what quest that was for, to go pick up those guys up with the distress beacon and stuff. I remember some kind of quest. Ah. Fuck it. Come along now, Pam. In fact, I'll just bring both of you guys. Vicar Max will have a knock back a few vodkas, won't he? He looks like he strikes me as a vodka man. Oh no, he had some kind of whiskey, didn't he? In his dormitory, I think. Okay. Can I fast travel? No, there's really no point in fast traveling. Let's just go to the bar, man. Urge oh, the after I level up. All right, Pam. Let's do this. Alcohol's a strange thing, man. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? You know, you think that she's crazy for asking that question, right? Oh, look at this poor, naive Pavati. But the thing is, bars fucking work different in different places, man. Like in the UK, you can just goddamn stand at the bar. Um, you go to the bar, collect your drinks, bring them back to the table, and you do it in like rounds, whatever, you know? And that's a thing. Well, here in Bulgaria, man, standing at the bar, waiting for your drink? That's straight crazy, man. You just don't do that shit. You go sit down and drinks are brought to you, man. It's like, what the? What the fuck is that, you know? It was so bizarre, man. Me and Sophie's dad, um, my father-in-law, you know, we actually, we went out for a drink and we're like, we didn't know what the fuck to do, man. I don't go out drinking, you know? But I was like, you know what, man? Let's go out for a drink, you know? Me and, me and the old man-in-law. So we went out for a damn drink. We were so goddamn confused, you know? Because it was like, what the fuck do we do, you know? So we were like ordering drinks at the bar. So we was like, oh, just go sit down. We are like, what the hell is he talking about, man? Go sit down. Are you crazy? And yeah, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just some places, but every place I've been to. Which, granted, isn't many here in Sofia. Operates like that. All right, man, pa. Oh, we can't sit down? Come on, man. I want to RP. All right, man. Let's go stand at the bar, man. Come stand at the bar. I'm going. Get yourself over here. You're spending large tonight, man. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. She needs something easy, man. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. I was gonna say, man, a beer. A beer is what I would go to right away, you know. Um. Okay, you're new to the whole this new thing. How about wine? Whiskey, no man, whiskey or vodka, like, that's the kind of thing that I drink while I'm out, you know, uh, typically vodkas, um, okay man, no, I don't, we shouldn't doubt a man, look man, I think, I feel like getting monged is kind of a rite of passage anyway, but, yeah, should probably start slow with the beer, man. Oh, beer, I guess, yeah, I can do that, beer can be good, I bet. Bottoms up. Welcome to a favored pastime of the common masses, Ms. Holcomb. <laughs> I myself don't imagine you'll care for the flavor. Yeah, beer tastes like shit, honestly. 
Nah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. <laughs> People drink that for fun? Hey, don't drink it for the oh, flavor. Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? <laughs> hmm. Going on a grand adventure across, across Halcyon? You're funny. Yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. There you go. It's like something out of a cereal. Focus on your damn self. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. And fucking up a romance is all part of it too, man. Us. <laughs> Stop by telling me why her message... Uh, why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything. Like Maybe she, she wanted you to know that she'd know. fucked her off. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Hmm. What did she actually write in the message you haven't said? But then again, nobody sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to somebody they don't like. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Talk about people's engines and pipes and shit. Oh man, she's goddamn raunchy. This Junlei man. What are you talking about, man? She wants it. She wants some of the power. I don't know what I call it. Uh, um, mm. hmm. What does she actually write in the message? You haven't said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Okay. And it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. See, Junlei fucked up, really. But that made it more awkward. I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Oh, man. Um. God damn. This is, this is tough, man. This is the point of... I mean, it's just... It's like two beers. She's not gonna hail a gutsa from two beers, man. I don't care if you're not a drinker. Like, come on, man. I'm not a goddamn drinker, and I can neck, what, like... Five... Five pints? Pretty comfortably, six pints. You know what I'm saying? All right, same as before. Law, no. That beer tasted like how Dad's old socks smelled. Yeah. Maybe something sweet and mild, like wine. I fucking hate wine, personally, man. Wine it is. Gosh, that smells pretty, almost. Like flowers gone a little off. Yeah, it tastes like perfume, how man. <laughs> hey, that's that's not so bad. Yeah. Kind of almost nice, maybe. Goddamn women in their wine, man. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but <sighs> I'm so scared. What you scared of, man? What you scared of, man? What about me? Why would I why would I say that? Captain, what do we do? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, fuck that, man. Trying to what about me, Ruffle and Bow? You can talk to me anytime. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. <laughs> does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? That's life. That's life, huh? You just gotta pick a course and aim for that shit. Come what may, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's always worth just fucking... Just focusing on your own interests, you know what I'm saying? Try to not give too much of a damn what other people think. Just be good at what you do and, you know, trust the path and all that. Um... <laughs> There's an easy way to get answers to all of those questions. There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... <laughs> Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? 
you go take that risk man you go take that risk she's putting her on like too much of a goddamn pedal cement this juicy woman isn't all that goddamn um yeah then call me you know I'm interested in blah, 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 blah. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are hmm Yeah, are you, afraid of, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Because that's kind of... That's obscene. Of course. Wouldn't you be? Um... Yeah, exactly. I am who I am. If people don't like that, then they're not for me. That's really simple, man. I envy your boldness of spirit, Captain. I can only hope a little bit of it rubs off on me. But... Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. <laughs> and so what? I don't want to be that person. Don't want to be cold. I want to bring light to June's life. Well, Captain, this has been this has been a whole lot. I got just wow, so much to think about. Hey, man, it's important to embrace. Some of the darker thoughts that you got, you know what I'm saying? Some people shy away from that shit too much. Maybe I just got like a really fucking dark sense of humor, so I have no problem at all, you know? Oh god, I'm not even gonna get into any of that shit. Um, yeah. There's no putting any pressure on a man, anytime. Do you think I should ask her on a... date? <laughs> what does the booze tell you? Oh god, well that's just terrible. Um, yeah. Honestly man, alcohol is a weird fucking thing. Just as a quick aside, right? What does the booze tell you? It's funny man, what, what beer does. Because I've tried explaining this to Sophie, right? When you're like intoxicated. Because Sophie doesn't drink at all. Like, she, she's really... She drank like a couple of times in college. And even then she barely got tipsy, you know what I mean? Um, and it's like trying to explain to her what it's like to suddenly not give a damn about anything that would normally trip you up. Like, it really is liquid courage, you know? But at the same time, there's this weird kind of um, conflict going on in your head where it's like, wow, I should be worried about the fact that I've got to be up for work tomorrow. Or, normally this would really scare the crap out of me, but right now, it's not scaring the crap out of me. I don't give a damn if I'm the center of attention and you know what I mean? And I'm, and I'm commanding the attention of the room and all this. And this is kind of a weird cognitive thing going on in the back of your head where you're thinking like, wow, tomorrow I'm going to wake up, remember this, and think, how the hell did I do that? You know? Because it's almost like a certain part of your brain is just muted, is just inhibited, you know? Um, but at the same time, the logic part of your brain is still working and telling you, you know, to, to be careful about this or be careful about that or you should be afraid of this or you should be wary about doing that, you know? Um, but at the same time, you just don't feel that fear. You don't feel that fear of consequence, you know? So it's bizarre, man. But straight up, she should just straight up ask her, man. And if it all goes tits up, that's just the way it's supposed to be, pa. So yes, just ask her. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. There you go, pa. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it! Right when we get back to the shit. Ship. I mean, probably. <laughs> Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. <laughs> and, well, for being a friend. Oh. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Good people? Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. You didn't do anything! Huh. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. God damn, man, if Pavati dies, I'm uninstalling this fucking game. Let me tell you that straight up. Can characters die in this game? Can your companions die? No, man. No, dude. I'm out. If Pa dies, I fucking riot, man. Outer Wells 2 is in development. I'm not playing it, man, if Pa dies. Don't give a shit. Okay, man, let's take it back to the ship, man. In fact, I can fast travel. What am I doing, man? I just want to see what happens with this story, man. It's cool, man. It's cool. Okay. Oh, your face is a sight for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. Oh, yeah, man. My goddamn headgear is still showing, isn't it? Uh, can I, like, change that? Show player helmet. Yeah, put that shit, man. There you go, Eddie. You can see my face now. 
Hey, Pa. How did it go? Did you text her? Did you text her? Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. There you go. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. There you go. There you go. I'm glad to hear it. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. <laughs> in the distant future. Anyway. Anyway, indeed. I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, <laughs> sorry for the typos. Okay, 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 uh... <laughs> Were there any funny typos? Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes. But I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. Yeah. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like... I've met someone who's become special to me. Okay. I want to be honest with her. So if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> oh god, if you to marry, you'll be saying, Haha, just kidding, unless you're not. I resent you saying such. On account of it being uncomfortably likely. <laughs> I ought to go write her back. I mean... I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Alright, man. Alright, dude. Cool, cool, cool. Quest completed. Drinking sapphire wine. Alright, man. Sick. Okay, but let's peek back onto the ship real quick. Uh, back onto the groundbreaker. I'm gonna go and talk to June Lay, man. See what she says, man. See if her dialogue is updated since we finished this quest, man. This one's got me intrigued. Okay. Fast travel across here, then I swear to God, we'll get back to Quisson. In fact, does Pat say anything now that we're back here? Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? No. Okay. That might be it, Ben. That might be the quest done now. Hey, Jun Lee. How's it going? I was doing some maintenance on the radiators and found this lying around. Oh. You look like you need it more than I do. Oh, well, thank you kindly. Oh, that's all? Oh, okay, man. Oh, okay, dude. Oh! We reached the end of the Pavati Junlei epic. Cool, cool, cool. I'm hoping that story kind of develops and keeps on going uh, with, like, each new zone we explore and stuff. That'd be kind of sick, man. Okay, this is the rest and go. Gladys? Why don't you go talk to Gladys, man? Oh, it's the passage to anywhere. No, dude. I need the, um... Medical Bay one. Which is somewhere around here. Here, maybe. Here, maybe. Oh, for God's sake, man. Oh. Oh. We also need to turn in this quest too, man. The, uh, Mac Red guys. Uh, special lighter that he had. We can turn this into you now. How goes the hunt? The bounty, the bounty. I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Yeah. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Sorry to disappoint. I only kill humanely. Here's McRed's lighter. Ah, a shame. But I won't hold it against you. The lighter's enough to file for the insurance payment. Long as his fees are cleared, I'll call it justice served. There you go. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? What bounties do you have available? With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't uh, much else in the offing. Damn. Okay, what's up, my dad? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Okay. Okay, I mean... It's a Groundbreaker thing. Nothing to trouble yourself over. Cool, 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 man. Groundbreaker are now friendly. Sick. Awesome. Okay, man. So what was that other question that I wanted to do? 
la 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 was it la this is the one west contact this is what we gotta do man we going we're trying to make it to jesse doyle <laughs> oh jesus my ankle Ugh. okay so maybe this guy will let us see this person now because um Wait a minute, didn't Junlei put in a good word for us with this guy or something? Uh, hello. Uh, Junlei called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Yeah. Now, is there something I can help you with? Cool, 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 man. Let me see what you got for trade, a man. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck. All right, nice, nice, nice. Uh, I think I've got, like, a ton of stuff, really. I don't think I need a whole lot. Uh, leadership skills. Plus five medical. That seems pretty cool, man. That does seem pretty cool. It's only 39 as well? You know, I'll just buy it just for the sake of it, man. Because why not, you know? Uh, this gives plus 5 engineering. Take one of those too, I guess. I mean, uh, we definitely don't need any more Adreno, I don't think. Uh, Alright, I mean, yeah. I, I, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good, man. Okay. Now... Sick bin nurse, sick bin nurse. Can I talk to anybody here, like, on the beds, man? <coughs> oh, man, he's got the goddamn Rona, dude! <coughs> oh! <coughs> Authorized personnel only. That ain't me, is it? Can I, like, sneak inside of there or something? Let me just save real quick. Can I sneak inside of there using the, um... Slow day, huh? What the... Oh. Oh. It auto-changes our shit. Looking good, Pam. Real smooth, Vicar. Oh, and as we're moving around in front of... Oh, as we're moving around straight up, we're losing durability on our disguise. Oh, goddamn, man. Medical Bay keycard, dude. There's so many places to explore, man. Holy shit. Okay. We gotta step out and reset this goddamn thing. Reset our durability or what have you. That's the fella. You're sure this is perfectly safe. Let's go, man. I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't, my friend. And that you shall not. I can't open that door. Okay. We can hack into this one, man. In fact, this one's really easy to hack into. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just nab all this gear real fast. Uh, I tell you what, man, I'm just gonna run out and reset this one more time. Because it runs low pretty quickly, man. What? Huh. I'll just leave now. <laughs> Nothing to see here, dude. Okay. Let's check this room real fast. Not a whole lot in here. To the last raptor on rotten time. Leave me in peace. Raptor on rotten. You all headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. <laughs> but I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Okay. Hmm. Open the door before I kick it down. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. 
Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do yes. something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. What's up, Jesse? How's it going? The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Hmm. Okay. I do work for the board, actually. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it. And I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful <laughs> contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. Okay, man. What did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Hmm. You, you think the board had someone follow you and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. All right. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Huh. So you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? Hmm. I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. <laughs> Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll talk to you to Udom for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Yeah. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Yeah, something like that. What about this Ellie, though? You're sure no one followed you? Okay, why does Ellie think she owes you? Ha! <laughs> oh, you should ask her that. She'll love it. By which I mean she'll probably have an apoplectic fit. Okay, Ellie was pretty emphatic that you two are not friends, so what's going on? Oh, that's just how Ellie is. According to her, she don't need no one or anything to get by in life. She can deny it all she wants, but we know each other. More than just as passing acquaintances. We've helped each other. Sometimes we even like each other. <laughs> Lone pirates don't live too long, and it ain't weak to have a friend or two. Well, all right. Sure, sure, sure. Cool, cool, cool. Very, very, very cool. Come on now, you two. Let's go, dude. Hey, Ali, what's up? Any word on Jesse? Pirate, are you? She's in debt to the board and thinks someone's after her. I'll handle it. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Yep. And all about it. Okay. Let's go see what's up, man, with... What's he called again? I keep forgetting this guy's terrible, terrible name. We'll just call him U. Because it begins with a U. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your... How do you do? What do you do? Huh. How might I assist you? Um, I hear about Jesse Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, she the only collateral she has is sum. her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. God damn. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an indenture contract. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Well... Okay, uh... Hmm... She's hiding in sickbay to avoid assassins. I'm sure she'll prefer work. You might be surprised. 
But we'll proceed on the assumption she'll be reasonable. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Okay, that's about it. Um... God damn it, man. No, why would I ever do that, dude? I keep on being, like, curious about where this will lead. In fact, let me save and just see what happens when I explore that dialogue option. I don't want to do it. How do you do? Because it just seems huh. crazy as hell. I know where to find Phineas Wells, by the way. What? Oh... <laughs> uh... I saw Wells' wanted poster, and I want to claim the bounty. Amazing! I didn't think those things worked. Mostly people draw funny faces on them. And An dicks. apprehension of this caliber would be tremendous for my career. I would send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, but... Oh, let me guess. There's a catch. Just a teensy one. The teensiest. Nothing to, uh, lie awake worrying about for nights on end or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I needed money. A lot of money, quickly, for reasons. Okay, so if I entirely expected, what happened? I might have pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. Oh, for God's Stray sake. too much from the uh, straight and narrow, and one may just find himself assigned pastoral duty in a maximum security penitentiary. <laughs> To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. Mm -hmm. I'll thank you not to question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, <laughs> and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. Yeah... Um, that woman's kind of my ticket to Monarch, though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be kidding me. How stupid can you be, dude? Oh, it might surprise you. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's quite a goof, sir. If you don't mind me saying. I'm very well aware. <laughs> now, let's get back to business. Hmm? Yeah, forget it then. I won't turn Phineas in. You probably don't even know where Wells is. None of my contacts ever pan out. Law, what am I going to do now? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, alright then. Cool, cool, cool. I ain't doing quests for that guy, man. Fuck all that shit. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Ellie. Whoa, holy shit. I need to fell into the goddamn abyss of Amon Ra. Wish I could say it was good to oh. see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's oh. nice, too. You ain't had the Thames yet. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell hmm. you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment. But I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. Okay. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Medic, huh? You saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? Huh, you really don't like owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Well, fair enough. Welcome aboard, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Oh. Ah, Vicar Max, get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you on the ship later. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real <laughs> happy to have you. Oh, Vicar Max is just gone. He's just straight up gone, dude. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. Yes, you are. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. Oh, well, she's reasonable. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Watch yourself while I'm gone now, Jesse. You know what I'm saying? What's your problem then, Ellie? Something on your mind? Hmm. If we're gonna work together, I'd like to know a little bit more about you, actually. 
I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. That's a strange combo. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero to cocktail and I've got bow. a meaner right hook. Okay. Do you have much experience uh, contracting out with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. Oh, nice. A rare for you. You are you ain't joking about being a pirate then? What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Okay, wait. You want to look like a pirate? <laughs> uh, yeah, more your casual outlook on legality. Gotta figure out how to work that into my aesthetic. Maybe a pair of earrings? Hey man, you can't play it by the rules I've all the time. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know That's not me endorsing me, criminal behavior, by I the way. I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Just saying, man, don't be a square. You know what I'm saying? Um... Alright, man. Well, I keep things above board. I hope that won't be a problem for you, Ellie. Not at all. I chose this life to make bits, not waves. Oh, Though, my. if I can offer another perspective, piracy's just trade the corporations don't have a hand in. Yeah. Alright. It is also a matter in thievery. Only on good days. Wait, Relax, wait, wait. that's just a joke. But there are plenty of frontier towns that would take issue with you. Settlements that depend on goods disappearing now and then. Yeah. Well, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> Let's move on to something lighter. All this talk of politics makes me tired and thirsty. Yeah, nothing better than talking politics over some goddamn alcohol, man. It's always ends up being an interesting conversation, you know. Let's get. Oh, I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive. Yeah. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Yeah, got it. Shall we get back to mischief or what? Okay, cool, cool, cool. No complaints here. Very, very cool. All right, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think that means that we are pretty much done with every quest on this place. Passage to anywhere we can't do here. Uh, this thingamadoodle on Terra 2. Um, yeah. I think that's all quests on this little planet, right? I think it is, I think it is. Let's go ahead and see if they have restocked any more heavy ammo, because we're using almost exclusively heavy Get guns right now. I sold it. Didn't oh. seem to make me any quieter. Hmm, that mod was for your gun, not your smart mouth. Oh. You want to bust my chops? Do it over drinks next time I'm on station. Please don't mind her. Everything I sell works as advertised. Some mm -hmm. people just like to sass me, because I don't bite back. Okay, well, I missed that little exchange. Uh, yeah. All kinds of heavy ammo, man. Take all that goddamn shit. We've got like a billion light ammo, so we really don't need any of that. In fact, I just realized that we are still waiting to level, right? Like, after all this time, I've also got to pick Ellie's perks. Uh, Pavati is currently using light... Uh, weaponry, so maybe we get some heavy action on Miss Ellie. Maybe we just give her like a goddamn heavy machine gun. Or maybe we give her the tactical shotgun, dude. Tactical shotgun and what, the impact hammer? I mean, that could be pretty cool. It's kind of cool, I think. Um, but we also have to pick up perks now as well. So maybe we make her more tanky, you know? A little bit of base health action. A little bit of base health and the plus armor rating, I think. Oh, she can go all the way up to tier 3? What's all this about? Oh, no, she can't. I'm just being crazy. Okay, man. Cool, cool, cool. We've got to pick our own stuff now as well, though. Okay. Everything picked and designed and la 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 la. So I think we're just going back to the ship and I think that we're actually just going to wrap water. up this episode right here man because i think that we like i say done on this planet um so yeah i think it's time to just hop into our ship and see where we can go man maybe i'll go back to the emerald Vale and see if i can discover that little secret place that we missed 
Uh, that became the cool for next episode, I you think. But we'll see what goes down, man. We'll see what goes down. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this gosh damn episode of The Outer Worlds. I'm fucking loving this game so much, dude. So good. I'm so well overdue playing an RPG that I'm just... I'm loving just getting super invested in this one and getting to know the characters and the cast and all the new locations and the side quests and all of the lore. It's just gorgeous, man, to be back into an RPG. You know what I'm saying? Anyways... Like I said, hope you all enjoyed. Do have a great day now, everybody, and I will catch all of you guys just a tad bit later.